we can we like to come that you can subscribe to by our guests on the show. But before we even get to our guests, I just to recap of what happened. Uh, we had a very amazing, talented um, songwriter and singer, gospel artist, uh, Lynn Queen Darlene, and Cardi was holding it down uh, with that interview. Funny enough, she's Ghanaian, and our guest too is Ghanaian. So that was an amazing uh, interview where she spoke about her music and the amazing deeds she's doing in the world of gospel music. So let's move on uh, to the amazing conversation we're going to be having with Gamble with that song, Cut Soap. Cut Soap, yeah. You literally borrowed it from us Nigerians. <laughs> yeah? What happened? What really? happened? Yeah, yeah. Well, let me just do a brief introduction because you're not Nigerian. So I guess I wonder, ah, who is this uh, um, you know, is he Ghanaian? Is he Nigerian? So he um, is known by his stage name Gambo, and he's a songwriter and singer, Bashir Anan, and winner of Ghana's Teen's Choice Awards, and featured on different newspapers. And um, he's also was also ranked in the top five upcoming African acts in the Spark magazine. Okay, so I was going to ask you. Welcome to the show. Good to have you on board. Thank you very much. So I was asking you before we had the conversation. Do you know her? The, the lady who you know my Kylie um, interviewed might have had heard of the name but you've heard of the name person. okay yeah, okay person, so. all right so let, let's talk about your music yeah. first of that cut soap what inspired it so cut soap is is, is actually cut. nigerian it's cut we call cut. it cut you call it <laughs> cut, cut soup, soup. <laughs> oh yeah cut soup for me now <laughs> so cut cut soup is 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 a nigerian term mm -hmm. actually um and it means to show me the way mm. uh, you know it's like now if we talk about music, Afrobeats, Nigerians are, are the ones, you mm. know, known for Afrobeat now. So it's basically me saying, oh, yeah, cut so for me now. Mm -hmm. So it's like me telling Goya men not to do what's cut, cut so for so me. Make it cut me that bamba song, <laughs> you understand? Show me the way. Show me the way, Baba. <laughs> uh, Goya, okay, so why, why were the choice of Goya Meno on that one? Goya Meno is a very big artist. Mm. And I'm, I'm not going to lie, my, my label did um, a lot to get Goya Meno on the song, um, on the song, the cut mm. soap song. Guamena is a very big artist, if, if, if you look at it, like internationally speaking, talking mm. about worldwide music, um, an artist that has released a song that has gone like beyond, beyond. borders. Guamena is one of those mm -hmm. people okay. that has that kind of song that's, if he stands anywhere in the world, he as long as you hear you want to bum back, the follow up is going to come up. And I feel, I feel for some reason he's not well appreciated. Mm. I don't know if that's the case. Because okay. the, the way I see other countries, hold him whenever he visits to go and perform. It's not the same as see when he's in Nigeria. Right. I've, I've Nigeria. Been we have, we have too many, too many superstars. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. But anyways, let's before we even talk about uh, the fact that you're signed to Michael Blackson's um, label. Blackson's yeah, yeah and, and we'll talk about that. Um, let's talk about the music. How did you even start off in music? Was music something you always wanted to do? Or at what point did you tell yourself, I'm going to be a singer? I'm not, I'm not <laughs> going to lie. When I was a kid, I watched um, 50 Cent, oh, okay. Candy Shop. Mm -hmm. The music video with mm -hmm. the girls and the I car, know. and I was like, "Yo, this is actually a lifestyle." And I, I found out that it was a job. Like, I found out it was someone's job to just make music, and he's like having all these beautiful. I'm mean, looking at me talking to such a beautiful <laughs> lady like this. So okay. I was like, "Yo, I want that lifestyle." You know, the cars, the the jewelry, the the, the, the airplanes, flights, mm. shows, the, the friends, lifestyle, talking to people, the wine, exactly. the women. Yeah, being. A <laughs> 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 like, I'm not gonna. Lie, I like. I like. I like women. Women are like beautiful people. Every man likes women. Yeah, Some man doesn't like women. <laughs> okay, so. Um, so yeah, so that's what that's what inspired me. But mm -hmm. um, I would say I watched an interview of Jay Z, and I think in his era he wasn't. People weren't really giving a, paying attention to him, so he made his own like. Blueprint. He created a path for yeah blueprint. He created mm -hmm. a blueprint for himself and he followed. And I was inspired by um, a speech he gave on an interview. And I was like, yo, I, I can actually do it. Mm -hmm. Like if you believe in yourself and you know you pray to God and all of that, you can actually do something you want to do. Mm -hmm. Work towards it and do something you enjoy doing. doing. So that's when I said to myself that yo, I, I okay, could so, also. So you're a rapper. And that genre would you would you say uh, not many when it comes to African rap is not as popular as maybe other types of genres of music. But how was it easy for you to navigate? that space of rap music and to uh, kind of just prove your point or your worth point. yeah well for african rap i want to say african rap is well known generally because when you talk about rap is hip-hop which yeah, is american i feel hip-hop is a culture mm. hip-hop is a lifestyle it's, it's a culture that americans represent and it, it's it consists of cars flashy stuff but when you come to african rap music it's I don't know if it's because we're, we're in Africa, but you, it's nowadays that you see us portraying that kind of lifestyle in our music videos. Yeah. But for me, I was able to blend the, 
the chi rap with the American beats, hip hop drill, and all of that. So I think that's what helped me out. Okay. I think that's what a lot of rappers are also doing. Okay. So in the Ghanaian music space, what is it like? I know it's big with Shata Wale, <laughs> Black Sheriff. There's a lot of amazing, talented guys even from way before. There's, there's, there's that's just it. like a lot. What's the music scene in Ghana you know, right there's, now? There's this battle like between Ghana and Nigeria I know right, right. Everybody, I, d I, don't, I don't world. want to touch <laughs> sensitive issues okay. but I mean it's the truth I'm, and I feel Nigerians have it now mm. the world is looking at Nigeria now if you talk about Afrobeat it's Nigerians that are pushing it but I feel Nigerians they, they support a lot like they put in their all when pushing an agenda or pushing something they and you guys are many mm. so it makes it so easy so that I feel that no matter what's um, if you go somewhere and a Nigerian is doing something and a Ghanaian is doing something and a South African is doing something, something, you would notice that Nigerian is holding on to it more than Nigerian. They know how to take over. Yeah. I'm not <laughs> going to lie. I mean, my Ghanaian people might not support what I'm saying, but it's the truth. Okay. I know that Chatawale is for some, for one, is always very vocal about how he feels about the music. Thank you. He's it's, very vocal. And so it, everything when he, he says is 100%. Hmm. It's all true. Nigerians support a lot. I mean, if you see, I mean, um, I can just feel the old too, yo. Mm -hmm, that's, that's like... And where he, I was going to come to where he said that um, Ghanaian artists, do you agree with him when he said Ghanaian artists cannot do what Ashake is doing right now or any other Nigerian is doing, filling out stadiums and all of those other things. And it's also said it's because the, if you look at it, even in Ghana, I, I believe that's true, a lot no, of DJs true. are playing Nigerian, Nigerian music, music as opposed to Ghanaian music. Why is that not? Why yeah. is that so? This is what I'm going to say. I feel Ghanaian artists don't i don't know if they don't value in investing in their crafts but ghanian artists are not out there i don't know if it's because of money issues or fundraising or record labels but ghanian artists they're not out there a, a lot nigerian david was in ghana just two days ago he just came to ghana two days ago it, it cost money to move hotel flights his team whatever he's going to wear but he, he has no reason to, to go he just popped up had his name trending, bloggers posting, blah, 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 everywhere, boom, and he's in and out. But I feel Ghanaian artists are not doing the same thing. Mm. We've had Whisker come to Ghana countless times. We've had Burner Boy come to Ghana countless times. Masaka has been to Ghana before, I remember. Mm. He was at Garage, he shut that down. And, and it's funny because Ghana is like the hub of African culture and all of exactly. that. Exactly. Well, we're there's not... South Africa, there's Ghana, there's Nigeria. So uh, I'm wondering why Ghanaian. But let me ask you, in, in terms of your music, let's talk about the body of work you've done. You released this, I believe the other songs that you've put out, what's the reception being like and other tracks that you've had uh, so before cut soap featuring Guayama, which is my latest release i had um this song called girls girls mm. and I actually spoke about um ghana ghana ghana, ghana girls, girls go make you go mellow hey okay right? and then i said niger girls go make no ghana girls go make you go borrow niger girls go make you go mellow mm. right well i'm <laughs> i'm not going to lie niger girls are niger girls are beautiful people sorry ha, but they, they'll collect your money <laughs> No, but funny enough, Ghana girls are all about money more. Really? Yes. If Ghana girl meets you today, it's, it's, it's money. If, especially if, if she's not your boyfriend or something, she's like, give me quick, quick money. Mm. But Nigerian girls, I feel you guys support. Like, if, if a Nigerian girl meets a, um, a guy, she wants to help him out. She wants to be there for him. She wants mm. to support him. She wants to, she wants to like... So in essence, you are potting from Ghana to from Ghana no, I'm, to I'm Nigeria. Just, I'm just speaking. <laughs> I'm just speaking facts. But if I don't take a crowd, I end up staying here. Oh, I nice. end up even getting a wife. Right? If from Nigeria, <laughs> oh, it's all part of it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you but know. yeah, so I dropped the song "Girls, um, Girls, Girls," which spoke about Ghana Nigerian girls, and uh, uh, Michael Blackson and Shaquille yeah. O'Neal oh, nice. danced to the song. They made a TikTok video and then posted it. That was like in the Super Bowl, I think, about four months ago in the US. And it just boom, it went mm. viral in America. World Star posted it, Ball Alert posted it, and it was crazy. I just woke up one morning and I just kept getting phone calls, mentions, yo, that's what you're supposed to do, you're a world star, you're, you're, you're trending, you're viral. And I was like, yo, that's, that was crazy. So aside that, last year, um, um, VGMA Awards, I won the Best New Artist. Um, so that was also big. I also got nominated for the um, Discovery of the Year. GMA UK Awards and this year I've also been nominated again. Okay, and also awards, you're so. currently on you're currently on tour as at the moment. Yeah, no. I was on tour in the USA. Okay. Um, um, yeah, I was on tour in the USA. I All just right. got to Ghana last month. Nice. Okay. So what's the plan after this? Um, this is definitely going to be promoted heavily in clubs because it's a club banger. What's That's next so. for you after this? What are the other things that are in the works for you? Uh, so I have an EP coming out. Uh, I would tease the name of it. It's called Now or Never. 
Now or never? Because yeah, it's, it's now or After never. I went to borrow another Nigerian name. <laughs> After I caught some. <laughs> it's now or never, so that's going to be the EP. And uh, um, I'm looking to actually get into the Nigerian space. Ah, okay. Yeah, well, come it. on, I join us. Okay, <laughs> that's all right. So I'm welcome, Nami. Yeah, you're uh, welcome. welcome. And Cinema Nigerians is, we are very warm welcome. We're warm that's, people. That's what I'm saying. We're warm people. That's what I'm so saying. Just, I mean, yeah. <laughs> since, since I touched down yesterday, almost anybody that sees me for some weird reason are like, who are you? Like, you're somebody. And they want to know. They want to find out. They want to mm. follow you. They want to know what you're doing. Do it and, and I'm all like, that. yo, that's, that's like mad love, yo. Oh, okay. It, ma it makes it makes people feel at home. All right. Yeah, um, let me just touch on one of our trending stories with you. Um, where Two Face says young artists don't owe me recognition as a legend. You cannot deny the fact that Two Face is a legend, but he's saying that young artists do not owe me recognition as a legend. Do you agree with him? They don't owe him recognition, recognition. and they don't need to recognize him. As you know, a as a legend. No, I feel. In, in life, no matter where you find yourself, you notice someone has been there before. So you do need to know what the person has done and the, the way that it's, it's paved for us. Because I was, I was having this um, talk with my, my team. I was saying that now, um, it's like now Africa is getting into the Hollywood BT space, space, space. Grammy space more. Yeah. But we've had pioneers that have, you know, like massaged those roads already. Mm. You know, we've had, I mean, David O featured Nick Mill like 2016, right? Um, 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 P Square featured Rick Ross. You know, all those features, Sako, they yeah, did um, Ace Hood. Again. Yeah, Shatawali did Beyonce. So now it's, they've put like the country's map, you know, like they've heard of it, they've heard of Nigeria, they've heard of South Africa, they've heard of Ghana. So we the young artists coming up now, it's easier to, you know, oh, hey, oh, you're from Ghana, oh, yeah. And they, most of them are like, yeah, you're from Ghana, yeah, Sakodi. That's how they call it. You have to pay respect to Exactly, you have to pay respect to the, to the oh, pioneers that have. Okay, so let's collaborations. Who are you looking to do a collab with? Um, Nigeria, or could be Ghana? Uh, so I have a, a song, you know Jim Jones? Yeah, Jim Jones. I have a song with Jim Jones coming up. Okay. Um, I've done, that's, that's Drift Remix between Adam. Um, I have a song with Lade, which I'll be shooting a music video while I'm in town. That's also on release. Okay. Um, uh, Mr. Drew. At them, a whole lot of features, hmm, okay. a whole lot of features. But I wouldn't like to, you know, spoil Re that release there. the big names yeah, here in Nigeria. Yeah, okay, so name. before we go, the Jollof War, Nigerian Jollof, Ghana Jollof, which is your face. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be partial. I haven't actually eaten Ghana Jollof, but which is your favorite from the two? Have you eaten Nigerian Jollof? I've tried. Have I tried? No, we had coconut rice by that. Okay, that's I haven't awesome. tried Nigerian jollof. Yet. Okay, I'm so yet coconut to, I'm rice. Yet to try. Well, you need coconut to try it. Okay. Yeah, but um, I feel with this whole wars thing, it's you know you acquire a taste for something when you eat it over time mm. and time. So if, if you're Ghanaian and you're eating Ghanaian um, Ghanaian jollof, okay, you to know. you that's what's nice. So if you taste something new, it's not going to be the no, same. Yeah, so I, I think, think that's, the same for I Nigerians think Nigerian too. jollof is on rav is is the best. <laughs> okay. Well, well, I'm yet to find out. So. Well, you should try it. You definitely should try it. The spi very spicy, you know, one. It will do you good. But just to wrap up everything that we've said, words to your fans, and just things in the works, and all just little things to wrap up the conversation. Right, you know what time it is, man? It's Ghana boy, Ghana. Uh, I'm here in Nigeria, looking for a Nigerian wife. Okay. He's <laughs> staying out there, so. Yeah, so you can catch me on all social media platforms, Gambo underscore II. That's G-A-M-B-O underscore I I try to follow me like comment spam tag everything so I'm gonna respond okay. to you and I have a new banger release called cut soap featuring Goya Mena. Mm -hmm. go listen to that tune man it's, it's out on all streaming platforms hit me up let's catch a vibe the only thing I know in Ghanaian word is Charlie Charlie yeah. <laughs> Charlie that's my friend right is it well, my we can't yeah Charlie yeah <laughs> Charlie, you, that's we can't do we can't say five words without, without using saying, Charlie, Charlie yeah. okay <laughs> thank you so much Gamba it was really really nice so, having you on the show guys there you have it we had a fun time on the show today uh, from Kidwa to Queen Jalin and Gambo. Now, we have another Nigerian producer who is also called, I think it's being, being Gambo. So when I heard Gambo was coming, I was thinking, was that Gambo? Yeah, I think he's a producer or a director. I'm not sure which one of oh, the two. But yeah. So um, thank you so much for coming through on the show. Wish you your best second time in Nigeria. Have yeah. mad, yeah, mad fun. But guys, we need to wrap up the show. And our word for the day says, if everything was perfect, you will never learn 
you will never grow. So you don't need a perfect environment because you will not grow. That's what Beyonce is saying. And um, like we said, uh, the question for the concert that we are giving out tickets for, uh, for D1, the question is, uh, which year did D1 feature on the Big Brother Niger show? So please send your answers to the number on your screen and on WhatsApp. And uh, we're getting out a couple of tickets to the concert this weekend. It's definitely going to be a fun time. So this is where we wrap up the show. Um, please have an amazing weekend. Don't drink and drive. Don't drive and drink. Say no to child abuse. Say no to drug abuse. And please do have an amazing weekend. I'll see you guys on Monday.